Hey everybody, it's Archie. Um, today's topic is very serious, and I know the title is very click clickbaity, but uh, please hear me out. Um, I have a point I'm trying to make, and I honestly do believe that in early January of this year, I contracted an early version of the coronavirus when I was on vacation at a convention. And uh, I want to, I'm going to tell you this story because I want younger people to take this a little bit more seriously than I've seen them been taking it on social media. Um, well, let me start from the beginning. Uh, in late December of last year, uh, I visited a convention that had tens of thousands of people. And shortly thereafter, I believe I had what is known amongst con goers as con crud. This happens very often. You're around a lot of people. You don't feel that good afterwards. Um, so I wasn't feeling that good uh, a couple days after. And uh, on January the 1st was New Year's Eve. I believe I believed at the time I had a terrible hangover from the night before. It was so bad that I thought, you know what? I want to start off the new year by being sober for at least one month. Give myself a little bit of a challenge. Uh, that's always good for you. I like to drink, and I thought I'd give my liver a break. So on New Year's night, everyone was partying, and I was just feeling terrible. I thought I'd go home and sleep it off. And the next day I woke up feeling worse. And I've, I've partied so hard before that... You can sometimes have hangovers that last one, two, three days if you're really going hard. But when I was on day five, I knew something was wrong. Um, also, I was getting different symptoms than you get from a hangover. My muscles... Now, sometimes during a hangover, your muscles, they tense up for a couple of days. You're dehydrated, that happens. Uh, your pee is darker and it's it's harder to pee. But my bones were starting to crack and feel achy. I was getting a fever and I developed a nasty cough. And this cough was not just a... <coughs> it was a machine gun fire of coughing that after about two days, I noticed I was spitting up blood. And then... I developed weird heat around my body. And at this time, I didn't know what the coronavirus was. In fact, almost no one did. But this all came to a header on day 10 of the new year. You see, I was going sober for a month. I like to drink some alcohol before I go to bed because I have insomnia. It helps me go to sleep. And I wasn't drinking. So, without the pain-dulling effects of the alcohol, I couldn't sleep for days on end. I would go two days with no sleep, just sitting up, shaking, feeling everything. It felt like the flu, but I didn't have any nausea. My esophagus was just killing me, and uh, I was starting to have weird... Um, thought patterns that weren't typical and on day uh, around the 10th day of feeling like I had the worst hangover ever and I couldn't sleep I it, I decided to take a shot of Dayquil just to numb my esophagus and then I went to sleep an hour later I woke up with my heart going crazy uh, Typically, your heart pattern goes like, you all know this. Mine was doing this. And I, I've had heart palpitations before from nervousness. This was not that. This was serious. I called an ambulance and I was rushed to the hospital. Um... My cough had gotten so bad now that I was carrying a, a tissue in my pocket because I thought the blood was coming from the back of my uh, uvula 
but I found that there was more in my esophagus now. And I get to the hospital, I spend 15 hours in Mount Carmel in the emergency room waiting for them to give me a room. They hooked me up, they shocked my heart to try and get back in rhythm because I was experiencing something called AFib. And the doctors believe that I got that from coughing too hard. Um, for those of you that don't know what AFib is, it's when the top of your heart muscles and the bottom of your heart muscles go out of sync. So what can happen when this happens is instead of the blood circulating around your heart, it stays in certain ventricles, which can cause a clot, go up into your brain and give you a fucking stroke. And the doctor said, if I did not come in when I first experienced, experienced these symptoms, I would have had heart failure. Now, during this time, they didn't know what the symptoms of the coronavirus were. They just knew it was killing people because a lot of the information of what it was two months ago was not leaked. In fact, now we're only knowing what the symptoms are a month ago from now. So af after I was released from the hospital, um, I noticed that uh, family members of mine started having similar symptoms. And then my husband had similar symptoms, but none of them as harsh as mine. I got hit really hard. And it took another week and a half before I not fully recovered, but stopped coughing up blood. They gave me a medication. Uh, my light source just turned off. They gave me a medication to keep my heart like back in rhythm, and they put me on aspirin for the rest of my life. Um, after doing a lot of research, I truly believe that I had an early version of this shit. And the reason I'm making this video is because I've seen a lot of young people on my Facebook, Twitter, talking about how they're young and they don't really have to worry about this and how they're still going to go to that concert that they bought tickets four months back or uh, they want to go to the game store or they want to go to an arcade. Well, in Ohio, all that shit's closed. The grocery store is open now for like nine hours a day, and that's it. Uh, no more than 50 people are allowed around each other. And I truly believe that that's because um, the government knew what this was, and they were hoping it would go away before it became this pandemic. But I, I'm saying I truly do believe that I had it very early. Now... It was the sickest I've ever felt without having to feel like my stomach wasn't churning. That was the only thing that didn't feel terrible. And after reading all of the information that they've let out now saying what it does to you, I, I, I think that's what I had. It could have killed me. I'm 32 years old. I know that's not considered young by a lot of you but I don't feel like an old man. I'm built like a tank. I try and eat well. I drink a lot of water. And this shit laid me up for over a month. And I just don't want to see anything hap like this happen to you. If this wasn't the coronavirus, it certainly acted like it. And I never want to feel this way again. You don't want this, and I don't want anything like this for you. So please take this seriously and take care of yourself. Wash your hands. Go out in public as little as you can. Wear a respirator or one of those little paper masks and wear plastic gloves. Um, and think of it as like a two-week vacation as of now when this video comes out. Don't take it um, lightly at all. Anyway, I feel better. I'm taking incredible precautions. By the way, I have felt better for the majority of a month and a half. I am not infectious, so please don't please don't add that stigma to me now. But yeah, the that's pretty much all I have to say. Stay safe. I care about you, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, oh also like and subscribe.